so turning to Kenya, um, let me start uh, by expressing um, our deepest sympathy uh, to the people affected by the tragic events in Kenya. Our hearts go out to those who have lost their lives, um, lost loved ones, or suffered injuries. Uh, with respect to Kenya's broader situation, I think it's important to say that the situation in Kenya reflects broader challenges facing many of our low-income members. Many of these countries are experiencing a funding squeeze, including on account of tighter global financial conditions and reduced availability of concessional financing. So policymakers in these countries, including in Kenya, face a complex balancing act. They have pressing spending needs in priority areas, such as social programs, health, and education. They're managing a rising public debt and debt service, and they also have the challenge of boosting domestic revenue. For Kenya specifically, uh, the goal of our IMF supported program is to help establish sound macroeconomic fundamentals. And these are crucial for fostering sustainable and inclusive growth in the country, crucial for generating jobs for the Kenyan people, including Kenya's young population. We are currently working with the authorities to ensure that these objectives can be met. And we recognize that there's a careful balance between providing public services and securing yeah. adequate financing. Uh, our program also includes initiatives to improve governance and transparency and to ensure responsible use of public funds to safeguard uh, social uh, programs and social spending, particularly to uh, protect the most vulnerable members of society. Um, it's also important that these policies that, that are under discussion go through a process of broad um, consultation so they, um, so they can gain broad uh, public support. Um, we remain committed to supporting Kenya um, in its effort to achieve inclusive growth. Um, at every program of review, we do take the opportunity to assess developments and make adjustments considering the evolving circumstances. And that's exactly what we're doing in our um, active and constructive discussion uh, with the Kenyan authorities. And we're confident that we will be able to find a balanced path forward uh, with Kenya.